Hello and welcome to this video about naming salts. This is quite a big topic so I'm going to try and break it down and make it as simple as I can for you. First of all, um, let's talk about salt itself. Now the salt that we all think about that we put on our fish and chips and that we use in our day-to-day -day life is called sodium chloride. That's its chemical name. And all salts have two words. The first word comes from a metal and the second word comes from a non-metal whereby chloride is the ion for chlorine. All salts have two parts to their name. So sodium chloride in the word form is the same as NaCl if we were to write it as its chemical formula where Na is sodium and Cl is the chloride part. And these are ionic compounds. So all of these salts are ionic compounds, if you remember back um, from that part of the topic, whereby you've got a positively charged metal ion and a negatively charged uh, non-metal ion bonding together. Let's move on then to how salts are made. There's a couple of ways that you probably recognise from key stage three as well. The first one is simply if you, you react an acid and a metal together, you make a salt and hydrogen. So in this example here we've got sodium plus hydrochloric acid and where we get the, the two words that we need from to make the salt, the first word is from the metal that we actually use, so in this case sodium, and the second word is from the acid that we use, so in this case we're using so hydrochloric acid so we make a chloride and I'll talk about these more a little bit later on but sodium chloride is the salt that we'd make and because we've just reacted it with a metal we make hydrogen so here again we've got metal plus an acid making a salt and hydrogen so sodium chloride and hydrogen now the other way that we can make salts is by the neutralisation reaction whereby you react an acid and a base to make a salt and water. So in this example you've got a base here, this is the base bit, and an acid over here and we're going to react those together to make a salt and water. Don't forget the salt has got two um, words to it. So we take the metal part of the base, so just take the word that is the metal, ignore that bit, and we look at the acid we use and we know that hydrochloric acids make chlorides. So our salt is sodium chloride. And what we are left with is water. Now if we had the symbol equation for this it would be a lot easier for us to actually see what we're going to make. So I'll just write it below. We would have sodium hydroxide which is NaOH and we would also have hydrochloric acid which is HCl and we'd make sodium chloride which is NaCl And you should be able to see that what we've got left over is 1H there, 1H there, and an O to make H2O. So that's how we can get it from the neutralisation reaction, an acid in a base reacting to make salt plus water. I want to bring in now a special case um, of neutralisation whereby you have a carbonate. So normally this would work perfectly well if we've got metal oxides or metal hydroxides here. So this works for metal oxides and hydroxides. But if we've got something called a metal carbonate, the products that we make are slightly different. Now what I really want you to get into the habit of is looking at that word carbon in the carbonate. 
because if you notice that word carbon I want you to think yourself that you're also going to make carbon dioxide. So if you see that word carbon in the reactants of the equation, think to yourself, I must be making carbon dioxide as well. So sodium carbonate then, plus hydrochloric acid. In this case, we make um, a salt plus water, but plus carbon dioxide as well. So the salt that we're going to make comes from the metal of the, the base here, so sodium. And from the chloride part, which we know hydrochloric acids make chloride. So sodium chloride plus water, just like above. But in this special case, which I want you to bear in mind, if it's a carbonate, it will also make carbon dioxide as well. Okay, so the part that we just uh, covered was how we make the salts by either reacting an acid with a metal or an acid with a base. And all the examples were making sodium chloride, the salt that we all know. But what I want to highlight is this bit is really important to um, commit to your memory, is that different acids make different salts. So let's start down here with hydrochloric acid. We said that that was making chlorides for example, sodium chloride in our last examples. So that makes chlorides. Sulfuric acid makes sulfates. And nitric acid makes nitrates. That's worth putting on a little post-it note in your room and really committing that to memory. This bit's really important for your understanding of everything else. So let me give you a couple of worked examples before I um, give you some questions still on your own. So we've got calcium oxide plus nitric acid, thinking about what that's going to make. Now we've got a base here plus nitric acid, so we're going to make a salt plus water. So what salt are we going to make? Well we take the metal from this bit, the calcium. And we know from here that nitric acid makes nitrates, so it makes calcium nitrate plus water. In this example here we've got a base, we've got magnesium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. So we take the metal from this part, underline sulfuric acid, and we make magnesium sulfate this time. And this one we see potassium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Now alarm bell should be ringing here for you. You should notice that this one has got that carbon in it. So we're going to make this time a salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. So let's get the name of our salt. Potassium is the metal part here, plus hydrochloric acid. So we make potassium chloride plus carbon dioxide because of this carbon bit. Plus water. So all we need to do to remember how to name salts and complete these equations is to know that to get the name of the salt you need the metal part from the base here and the um, part here comes from the acid. So nitric acid makes nitrates, sulfuric acid makes sulfates and hydrochloric acid makes chlorides. The other thing that I'll repeat again is if you've got that word carbon in that as part of your base then you must remember to add carbon dioxide as well. Now in the first example we talked about acids and metals making salts plus hydrogens. They're the ones that are perhaps less likely to come up. Um, normally when you ask to name salts it's in relation to neutralisation. So here I've got some examples for you. Um, I'd like to have a go at these and try and complete the equations for these neutralisation reactions where you've got a base and an acid. So if you pause the video now um, remember that 
a base and an acid makes a salt plus water unless it's got that word carbon in it as well and it will make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So pause the video now and um, give it a go. So let's see how you got on. Um, let's look at the first one, calcium carbonate plus nitric acid. That would make calcium nitrate. plus water plus, because of this bit, carbon dioxide. Now it doesn't matter which way around you've got these three products as long as they're all there. So calcium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Um, the next one you should have sodium sulfate plus water. Because there's no carbon in this bit, we don't need the carbon dioxide. For the third one down, we should have aluminium chloride plus water. Hopefully you're getting the hang of these by now. Barium sulfate we need here. plus water. The next one, potassium sulfate plus water. And um, down below here, the next one, ammonium nitrate plus water. Now this one um, should have been a little curveball for you because ammonium you wouldn't find in the periodic table because ammonium um, is actually NH4, okay? And we'll talk about this in the next video, that ammonium part, but well done if you've got this one, just take the ammonium like before and the nitrate from the acid plus water. So this one's not strictly a metal like the other ones because you've got um, NH4 and um, nitrogen, hydrogen and non-metals, but it's this, it follows the same process as before. And finally the last one, you should have magnesium chloride plus water plus, because of this bit, carbon dioxide. So very well done if you've got most of those correct. Um, if you found this video useful, then please like the video and subscribe. See you in the next video.